Welcome back to Rowena's Curse. We have the four keys we need. Earth, fire, air, and water. Here we are, to do something. Uh, but I don't know what. But, since I was kind of at a loss as to where to go next, I did look up the walkthrough. And it told me that it was indeed back in these underground passages. Uh, which I was just at. Which makes sense. It was an obvious place to go and look, but uh, it was also not really, you know, I'd not really seen anything down here that would help. But it turns out that uh, I've missed the important thing for a very good reason. Because it didn't appear to be important. I mean, it kind of looked important, and I mentioned that, but it wasn't usable. This skull in this wheel right here. You know, it definitely looks important, it looks significant, but it didn't look usable. And I stood here, you know, well within normal frog distance, and the skull didn't highlight, so it's like, okay, is this just decorative? Turns out, no. If you stand a little, if you stand right up to it, it's a button. You have to be right up in its dead face. So let's do it. Thou who art wise shall choose the solid rock. Thou who is brimming with, brimming with greed shall be buried among thine treasures. Oh, that's a switch. Here's a solid rock, I choose you. What happens if I stay on the switch? Uh, please don't crush me. Stone in front and stone behind. A lingering death you will find. Am I trapped? You're telling me I'm trapped? Well, that's not very fun, is it? Um, I should say, what's in the middle of that? It's just a little watch. So, what am I missing? Quick, can I make it in the proper switch and come out? Whoa, I am. I can. Alright. Let's do this one next. Let's try that again. If we can do that quickly for all four, then. Oh, shite. There's a boulder there. I can block it. I wonder if I can block the movement of this with a boulder, actually. That would be... That would explain why if you're wise, you'll choose solid rock, right? The hammers didn't build this. Does it block the door? It does block the door. Nice. So this one doesn't have a switch in it. It just has the boulder. Okay. More importantly, I don't need to block the door. I can just weigh down the switch. Do I choose greed? I mean, I need to choose greed, right? I have such a big... Uh, such a very large... Objective for treasure. But I do need to choose greed. I'll just be smart about it. Alright, 5,700. Now what is this taunting sign to us? Exactly the same. 
Let's grab it from this side, it'll be a little easier. So we've got the switch behind that one. There must be another switch behind this one. Yeah. Aha! You can't fool us with your ridiculous traps. This one might close behind me though. I guess that's why I've got a rock. I don't care about those ones closing now, I do care about this one closing. So let's make sure it doesn't, just in case. The keepers made this place. Those are keeper statues. And I'm guessing that's the holy sword. It's a, definitely a sword. Can't see any holes in it, but uh, it looks magical. Earth, water, uh, air, fire, water. Well, I know what to do here. So I could have discovered this place a long time ago and just and discovered these locks and just been unable to enter it. That makes sense. You're not having any loot around the statue, are you, keepers? It would be typical. Oh, apparently not. Holy sword! Yeah. Well, I don't know about anything else. It's got a Lady Rowena I have to deal with. You know what I can do now? I can chop down banners! Ah. Just in case you want to trap me there. Now it seems a little redundant. But I'm going to just try resetting this place to the way I found it. Because, you know, it should be a secret for future generations as well. And besides, I'm taking the Holy Sword and I'm not giving it back. So let someone else... Puzzle their way through here. Farewell, cryptic chamber. Very odd that there's a teleport there. It uh, seems unusual. Everywhere else has been passages, secret passages, and hidden ladders. Nothing as oddly mystical as a teleport. Well, we've got the Holy Sword, so we should be able to face Lady Rowena yet. We just... Uh, now, but we just have to find her, right? As I said, I've got more important business first. There were some banners in the house. I do not want there to be banners. And Garrett, the enemy of banners. She's not in her room here now, is she? That's difficult, she doesn't have any banners. Nope. Still can't open that. Don't think there were any banners in this room either. Let's just quickly run through. And check these rooms. I think they were all downstairs. Ah, Percy. Oh no, that's not Percy. This is, uh, this is Wilson and Lucretia. Right, downstairs. Where were the banners hiding? Uh, I should find out there's none in this room, right? Nothing at all in this room. It was well. There's a person on the window sill. So. 
Paintings, chapel, the chapel have uh, banners. I don't believe the dungeon did. Chapel didn't. Maybe the library. No, the library had lots of paintings. I have a feeling it was the servants' quarters that had the banners. I'm sure there's nothing hidden behind them. It's not really the the way of this game. Yeah, so this is up behind beside the red room. And you're saying that this room is shorter than it should be, which you can tell because the library extends further in the wall, didn't it? So oh, that was the other thing, this room here. So, if you recall, there was a note from one of the servants saying she'd lost her ring while changing, while making the bed here. Um, and I checked the recording I made when I came in here the first time, and I did not find a ring. There was a chest that was empty, but I had not found a ring at all. So if the ring is still here, then I'm missing it. So since I'm in this room, I'll just take another very quick look around. Oh, <laughs> there we are. Got it. Okay. My van is in your room. I'll try it read his diary. That was the terrible secrets, Lenny's ghost's room. Sitting room, dining room. That's all servants rooms. Servants is where I was thinking where I was thinking I'd seen a banner. Lizzie, the only person still conscious apart from myself. in here. Maybe the old barracks. The mess hall doesn't seem to have any banners. A little better. Uh, well, the old barracks are down here. I don't think the old barracks had any. Great. Oh, maybe it did. Maybe that's. Uh, oh. oh, I dropped those notes. So, yes, did uh, Lady Rowena leave some more notes for us down here? What a strange place to. But no, that was me leaving notes for my future self. Oh, yeah, he was dead to the world. Not exactly conscious, but not exactly knocked out. Right, not the old barracks down here in the basement, but the new barracks. Through the mess hall, through the kitchen. Through the, here we are, still. No. I can swear. I'm absolutely certain I saw a banner somewhere. Because I was commenting and I was hitting with my blackjack because I did not have. A sword to cut it down. Where was it? It's quite near the start of the game too. Probably, probably before I went upstairs. Where was the first place I went? It wasn't in the dungeon, was it? I mean, because that was a long way. That was a long time before I went to the dungeon. This is going to annoy me for a while. Until I give it up, of course. It's a silly, silly thing for me to be doing just now. Uh, dining room, kitchen. Well, I can go back to where I started fairly easily. Servants' quarters. 
not so. So here was where I started. And. Ah! Yes, here. Wilson's room. He's got two banners. Aha! Die! Oh, that one turned into a different banner when I chopped it down. What about this one? Hey, hey! No banner shall withstand the holy sword! Alright. Problem solved. Now what? We have this holy sword, and we have to kill Rowena. Uh, well, I guess she'll be down behind that, down behind the big door, right? Go back into the house, go back upstairs, go back through the passage, which I should never have left because I only left it so I could chop down banners. Um, well, I was going to say, does the holy sword open that big door, or does it open it itself because I've got the holy sword? Or am I going to need to find a last door's key? I don't have a last door's key. Uh, somebody took it from the library, which would either be Lady Lucretia herself, but no, she didn't have it. Or, um, Cedric, presumably, who spent a lot of time in the library. Well, let's go down there and take a look. It's not far to go. Not too much risk of hurting myself on the way. We have Ollie's sword. So at least we have the requirement needed to enter. You know, the recommended uh, equipment to enter the gates of hell. Whether we can survive a fight just because we've got the holy sword, I don't know. We've only got five hit points, that's not very holy. No healing potions, we've found one in the whole game. We've got holy water too, but I uh, don't really know why. Alright, let's make a hard save, in case too much drama happens. Aha! No one has left us a new note. So you got the holy sword. And now, where do you think you can go? Garrett, at this point you know all about me. You know that I wasn't able to revenge myself on Duncan. His ghost is wandering in the cemetery, but I can't enter that sacred ground. Go and destroy him with your holy sword. Do this for me. Then return here, and you will find the key of Alastor. The cemetery key is under Cedric's diary, in my locker. R. Hmm. Fortunately, cemeteries don't spook me. Alright, so now we have the locker key. Uh, so, our objective says to find the Holy Sword and kill Lady Rowena. But Lady Rowena has asked us to kill, to destroy Lord Duncan's ghost in the cemetery. Well, considering uh, what Lord Duncan put her through just to satisfy his own, it wasn't, it wasn't even, uh, you know, he wasn't even mad because she was uh, sleeping with Jervis. He wanted to kill her already. That was just his pretext. Uh, if nothing else, he was just bored by her. I forget. Oh no, he thought she was a witch. He thought she was a witch. She wasn't a witch. Not until he actually kind of forced her to become a witch, really. Uh, other, other side of the house. No. Back to her room. Sorry, we're gonna get the um, gotta open the locker, and we can read Cedric's diary and find out what Cedric thought about all this before he too vanished. And a health potion! Hooray! All right, look at those hit points going up. Like 
I can definitely use that. Is that is that like telling me the fight up ahead will actually have a risk of hurting me? Probably. But anyway. How much is this dreadful pact with Rowena going to cost me? I was forced to dispose of Nelly today. She was getting too suspicious. I found the old book of Alastor a few days ago, and now I know what Rowena really is. It doesn't matter anymore, for it's too late. I am in her power now. Curse the day I found the key of Alastor in the library. Curse the day I took the seal of the sleeper off of her breast against Lenny's warning. I had no choice but to kill him, and then hand Isabella over to Rowena. She will be sacrificed tonight. I only hope it will be a worthy one. Rowena promised to make me rich. She speaks of fabulous treasures hidden in mysterious caverns. Among these fabled treasures is the legendary Horn of Quintus. However, it was not the promise of riches beyond my wildest dreams that convinced me. Rowena promised to grant me eternal life like hers if I stay by her side. I am not so sure that I can trust her. How long will she hold her demons at bay? They are becoming more and more aggressive. In the meantime, I feel compelled to do all the dirty work. That Barker is becoming quite troublesome. I will have to make sure to greet him when he is alone in the library. He's always wasting his time in there. What on earth could he be trying to find? There is nothing of interest there anymore. You are a bastard. Uh, so he made a pact with Lady Rowena? To do what? Or was that her pretext for wreaking more revenge and getting more souls? I don't know, right? Who's the good who's the good guy and who's the bad guy in this? It's uh, certainly not very clear. But now we can at last access a cemetery. And I now hear the ghost. Duncan. Well, we have vanquished his ghost. Now what? We can we can loot the cemetery. That's a good start. Yeah, we haven't yet got these riches beyond their wildest dreams. Garrett yeah, will steal from anyone, dead or alive. Lady Rowena shouldn't care, right? She's she's doesn't have use any use for uh Riches now that she's a demon, but I do wonder: is she is she a demon? Should we really be doing her bidding? You know, we've still got an objective to kill her. And uh, for better or worse. I am wondering if we really should still be aiming to do that. I don't know. Alright, so Rowena, we we have destroyed the ghost of Duncan. Why was he still a ghost? Did you kill him? Did you not manage to kill him? Well, let's hope you can tell me what I need to know. Where am I going now? I have been to the cemetery. I have explored the entire mansion. Unless there's more hidden chambers. Like, well, behind the hell door, I guess. Let's go back to Rowena's room. Seems the next place. Next most obvious place to go, right? I didn't miss a note outside the cemetery there or anything silly. No.
So there you are. We I've done as you asked. Don't actually have the note here. Let's just re re review it. Uh, not that one. That's that's the guard who saw Lady Rowena, right? Uh, nope. There, here we are. See. So she couldn't enter the sacred ground of the cemetery. Okay, fair enough. If it's that sacred, how come the ghost is still there? But never mind. Oh, then return here, and you'll find the key of Alastor. Okay. Let's go back to the door of hell. See, the problem with leaving Lady Rowena, I would say, alive, even if that's kind of in scare quotes, because she's still some kind of immortal demon that's probably not alive in the traditional sense. The problem with her leaving her alive is every month, according to the Hammer's research, she's the kind of demon that every month needs to drink someone's blood and eat someone's heart and deliver up their soul in order to keep her own immortal status. footsteps. I'm really not sure if I want to condone that kind of activity. Because who is this? Is this Cedric? Huh. Does he talk or does he fight? What was that? He fights. I don't want to kill you, mate. I don't want to kill you. I don't have any flashbangs, do I? Balls. You can't come here. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> well, you can't follow me through this teleporter, but uh, I don't think that's a good way to escape. Cedric, why do you want to kill me? I just want to steal that key off your belt. Well, I can run, but I can't hide. Uh, Ow! Enemies, Taffer. Count your hours. I'm counting them. They're a few less than they were a minute ago. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I should have knocked him out, right? Silly me, going out at him with a sword. Damn, where did he go? Ouch. I hope I find you before the guards do. The guards are all asleep, so I'm not worried about them finding me. I am worried about my own stupidity that I, for some reason I confused you with Duncan. Dead. I still got my arrows. Let's let's put some silence here for myself. He's pretty quick on his feet, but I should be able to knock him out. Uh, hey. No. You're going down. No, I don't want to go down. Uh, Ouch! Uh, Ouch! I don't want to have to kill you. Uh, All right, I won't get a chance to kill you. Alright, maybe I can just pickpocket you. Huh? Nothing? How come I can't knock you out? Alright, let's use my last my last water arrow. Uh, until he turns around again. Mm, that sounded funny. Yeah, it doesn't really make it darker, does it? It does make it darker here. Aha! Is that, is that note still there? I need another water arrow, damn it. So I really can't knock him out. Ah, nope. Alright. For some reason, he's not susceptible. 
You know what? Hey, I'm not deaf, you know. Where's my la where's Elastus key? Quick, 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 Elastus key. Alright, goes there. Come on. Let me get into the dark. Before he turns around. Here we go. If you are reading this, it means that Cedric has passed away. What a pity. You took away from me the pleasure of killing him with my own hands. Garrett, this is my last warning. Don't go any further. You won't be able to reach me. You can't rescue Isabella. It's as she is already dead. Do yourself a favour and return to where you came from. I didn't kill Cedric. I snuck past him. So here we have demons. one standing right there. Hmm. Might be able to sneak past him, right? <laughs> Don't fight me! Fight the demons! I'm jumping off here. Ow! I'm just making a run for it because... Oh dear. Oh dear. Bad idea. Oh. I guess I probably should have uh, killed Cedric here. Unless I can just close the door again. Oh, I can. Well, I should stop him hearing me at least, right? When it eventually finishes closing is a very very slow gate. Wow look at the frog distance on that door, that's long. It's like a four meter long arm Garrett has. Right, so Cedric at least won't overhear me. So what I can try to do is wait till this wandering demon is gone. Then get this first one, because there's no way I'm gonna be able to sneak past him. Hopefully like Duncan, sorry, Cedric out there is fast and definitely a big threat to me. I'm not sure if the demons are as threatening. Hopefully not. I like the little precursor masks, that's uh, very cool. Alright, let's try. Ow! Yeah, they're, yeah, they're threatening. Ouch. Ouch. That killed me, just about. Well, that's not good. One of them's coming here. Holy Sword alone is not really uh, sufficient, it seems. Well, there's more than one coming here. Good. Alright, bad plan, bad plan. Yeah, very bad plan. 
What if I could just lead him over here? Oh, I'm not even visible here. What if I crouch with the sword? Just wondering still. Ah, oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Shit. Ouch. Shit. I'm gonna rob you of your organs. No! You're not supposed to be able to open that door. Damn it. Jump! Fight the demons! Don't fight me! Uh, this is gonna end in my death, isn't it? Take the loot! Of course! What else should I do? I'll take all the loot that I can find. I still haven't got my 7,000. Uh, but at this rate, I'll be lucky to escape with my skin. Let alone my loot objective intact. How do I get down? Oh, there's a ramp there. Oops. No, 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 no. Don't hit me. This is silly. This is ridiculously silly. Ah, uh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Ah, you can't even hit me. Oh, yes, you can. Alright. You know what? You know what? Cedric, me old mate. You are a much bigger threat to me. Than uh, these demons are. So I'm just gonna try and make sure. I guess I'm gonna try and take you down. Don't really have any good tools to do so. So I have to try backstabbing. So I'm gonna have to go back into that dark patch and wait until you go past. All right. All right, darkness. Here we go. I don't know that you really deserve to die. You're just... No! Oh, my backstab missed. But Romana thinks I should have killed him, so... And he keeps killing me. Oh, God, you're tough. Objective complete. Cedric is a traitor and an assassin, therefore he deserves to die. Put him out of his misery. Did I have that objective before? I don't recall. However, he uh, did kill Lenny. Oh yeah, he's gone. Uh, he at least killed Lenny. No, he killed Lenny. He killed Barker. Although Barker was possibly not properly dead. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm sure Cedric deserved to die, so I'm not gonna weep too much for him. I'm just gonna quickly quick load and see if I actually had that objective. Yeah, I did. I just missed it. Alright, let's reload that. Alright. For some reason, I didn't know it was an objective, so I was just trying to get past him unnoticed. All right, so we have the this demon here to deal with. If only that mushroom wasn't there. But a couple of hits with the holy sword does deal with these demons easily enough. So as long as I get them one at a time and successfully do my backstabbing instead of 
Um, well, instead of unsuccessfully failing to do my backstabbing, it's not so bad. Investigate. Look at them. Goat like lower halves. Do they have precursor masks? Or do they just have horns? So he's the wandering one. He didn't hear. Who's the one who heard? Maybe he's down below. Maybe you just heard the noises and isn't actually coming up to investigate. So I need to backstab this wandering one. Or if anyone else comes first, I need to deal with them. But it doesn't look like anybody else is coming first. Preferably, I can deal with them one at a time. I could, again, try and sneak past them all, but, you know... I don't see a point. They're demons. I don't have any vested interest in leaving them alive any more than I would spiders or frog beasts. Well, the frog beasts are cute. I'd like to leave them alive. They're just too dangerous. Fuck. Oh, well, one hit. Actually, I don't need to do a proper backstab. One hit seems to work. So it does look like they have precursor masks. Unless they wander around. Wait, can you zoom in on him? Yeah, but I can't take the masks off, so. I thought maybe once they were dead I'd collect a mask. Oh no, that's just their face, isn't it? Oh, he's coming. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Careful now. Oh, he's giving up. <laughs> Silly demon. Oh, he was that one, but he's... No, he's not that one. Oh, the one who was in that alcove was possibly nearby. Where did he go? Ah, he is nearby. One more down. Three down. Lots to go. And they're all antsy. Oh, there's a dark corner to hide in. That's nice. All right, the alcove down below. He's he's heard and he's all suspicious, but he doesn't really know where things are happening. Yeah, he's definitely. Well, they're definitely hunting. Whew, not an immediate problem for me, but uh, something to keep an eye on. However, the alcove man here dead. I can <gasps> healing potion. I missed that my when I ran past before. I can start taking the loot and the healing potions. That's even more exciting. Right, so in this cavern there's weird... Are they just standing there? Ah, uh, do arrows hurt them? So he hasn't gone back to his alcove. Oh, that didn't hit him. Or didn't alert him either. <laughs> well, that got him suspicious. Oh, he's coming. Balls. Alright. Maybe I can avoid being spin. A 
don't know. Somehow knew where the arrow came from. I guess demons have a bit of preternatural knowledge. Uh, however, I do actually have a lot of hit points now. I can probably just go out and hit them, but they're definitely easier to get when they're not suspicious. One, one hit from behind will do it. Rather than three. They're not that bad. Easier to kill than normal guards. Okay, one's going back down. One's still over here. Come on, give up. Give up your hunt. Oh, that's right. Go walk away. No, 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 oh wait, down the ramp. Come on, I can see you when you walk down the ramp. Do it. Down. That's it. this one really loudly. Alright, so he's patrolling on that floor, I guess. Uh, he's gone back to his place and he'll turn around. He's not managed to get the Zalco back, but uh, that's enough. Alright. Where's this patrolling one go? Find, find a dark spot. All these disembodied lights, very frustrating. Alright, uh, if I get down the ramp... Oh, he turns around there. Alright, so if that guy turns around... Nope. Careful now, Garrett. So he's just stuck there now. Oh, he looks stuck. It's bad for me. Well, actually, maybe we can just drop down here. Okay, not so, maybe not so bad for me. Ouch, did hurt though. So he's not in his alcove, which means... No healing potion at this one? Oh, shame. The problem is, if I run up and get him, this other guy's gonna get me. Well, I can try it. Ah. Ow! Shite! Ow! No, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Shite, I'm almost dead. Oh, and two more coming. Not good. Not so good at all. They're gonna find me here too. I don't really have an escape plan. I don't have any more healing potions. Look at them. I'm gonna die. Well, maybe I'm not gonna die just yet. Four more dead. I did steal the stuff from here, didn't I? Alright, one four more dead, one hit point. Uh what's up there's another healing potion on this floor. 
You didn't see me. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. Good. I was saying it as much to convince myself as to convince you. Um, no healing potions. Great. And I gotta get down there. And this is two passages. in the darkness here. So there's a bit of loot. Or whatever darkness we have. There's one of them in each passage, okay. Take the loot. 6,399. Still not at the uh, required 7,000. This loot goal is ridiculous. But okay, I'll take it. Uh, so they both basically come in the room at the same time and then walk away at the same time. So I want to follow probably the far one over there. I don't know. I'll wait till they both come in and are both going out. And then I guess the near one's going to be quicker to get to. I just want to stab him in the back and get him out of the way. Wait, do they alternate? They actually don't turn around. I can quick, I can get it out of the way so they won't see the body and get suspicious too soon. Come on. Come on, drop down there. God, these demons are fat! Alright, that'll do. Demons. So we can do the same with this fellow, I think. Oh, don't go in the light yet. All right, so far, so far, so good. So there's a demon at the end of this corridor. What's this way? So that way looks dramatic, so let's go the less dramatic looking way. It has to connect, right? Aha, uh -huh, there's another demon. Two. Guarding big door. I can hear one walking around too, okay. Here we have a room. With the cells. And zombies, and golden bones. Zombies are wandering around and opening doors. Okay. Interesting. Let's check out the other way before making a decision. So as far as I know, when I shot an arrow at the other one uh, from up above, one of the ones I've already killed, as far as I know, it didn't actually hurt him. But nearly annoyed him. I mean, it wasn't a holy arrow. So it shouldn't have hurt him. Oh, he does turn around. Good. It's just only him in here. I think that's... That's more like where I want to go first. Turn around, mate. Turn around. Right, guys. Other way. That's it. Oh! Okay, uh, let's be into the dark patch there. Now, what is this slot at the bottom of that? That's suspicious looking. It's a candle too. Boulders and, well, there's loot. I'll take the loot. What's this? Don't know. Weird. Maybe it's a thing. Alright, so here's where I ran out. Aha, oh, here's where I ran up before while being chased by everybody. This is the bottom of the bottomless pit. Here's Lenny's body and the front gate key. You know what, Lenny? I think you've been hard done by. I think this is kind of off mission, I suppose. 
But he was murdered. I think his body deserves to be found. Not sure if anybody will ever come down here after me. I'm gonna lock this place up if I can. But Lenny, Lenny at least deserves some rest. I'm gonna take him up. I'm gonna leave him in his bedroom. It'll take me a little while, but uh, should be all right. At least uh, he will be at peace. Given this is such a story-heavy mission, it seems appropriate to take to take sort of story level, uh, you know, actions, even if it's not part of my given objectives. That's the way in. Even if it takes a little bit longer. These demons, on the other hand, and uh, there's a nice handy pit of lava. Throw them down there. All right, uh, back to. Oh, not that way. This was the passage to uh, back to Rowena's room. Should probably take Cedric out too, so people don't suspect. You know, so people just find him dead. Given all the guards that saw me, they'll probably just blame me for everything that happened here, but, uh... You know, I would like to have a nice, clean ending here. With all the demons banished and all the people at least not vanished without a trace. But fine, well, I don't know about the two maids. If I come across their bodies, I'll probably try and do the same as well. <laughs> Should I take him, actually take him to the cemetery or his bedroom? I think his bedroom, that's where his ghost was. With his horrible secrets, horrible secrets. His ghost was wondering, deserves some, some peace. <laughs> Shame about the boulders at the front entrance to this place because it would have made it easier to go back and forth. It was a shorter route, I think. Anyway, here we are. Lenny, you. Well, that was Wilson's diary, but he's going to find Lenny's body in his bed. Or in Lenny's bed. Ah, so I kind of half collapsed in. Whatever, that'll do. There you go, Lenny. Hope that helps you, uh... <laughs> Pile of sleeping guards. God, Sheriff Truett is gonna be pissed. Maybe this explains why he's trying to have Garrett killed in the, uh, Thief 2 mission. Uh, just before ambush. Because Garrett was seen here and knocked out 50 of his guards. I couldn't understand why you would be pissed after that. Alright. Still one hit point. Uh, a couple more hit potions would not go amiss, but I'm not really holding out hopes. I'm just going to have to try and avoid taking damage. I hope that I can. I don't want to have to load one of my old hard saves just to, uh, just to avoid it. Uh, Cedric. You know what? I'll take you out too, but I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with your body. I'll just take you out and leave you in Rowena's room for now. Maybe we can make it look like you drowned with a big sword wound in your back. Yeah, nobody will suspect a thing. Nobody will suspect anything. <laughs> or, actually... I can drop you down the pit where Lenny was. That's far more appropriate, don't you think? I do. I guess so I could drop him in the pool there and make everyone think he's drowned, but no. No, 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 no. Down the pit. Down. Down the pit you're gonna go. You were the one that was exploring there when you shouldn't have been. 
Can even up. People can look down, see your body there. And uh, unless I have to do something with this body, actually. I doubt it, in terms of missions. But just in case I have to do something with his body, uh, I'm just going to put him just here for the moment. And I'll do dispose of him down the pit later on my way out. But it seems appropriate to uh, give him a taste of his own medicine. Can you push Lenny down? And uh, for that, he's dead. Well, not just for that. Alrighty, back to this pit of demons. And... Okay, I don't think I'm going to get to the finale... Uh, just yet, because it has been an hour, and there's still some way to go, still f at least a few demons left to slay, and uh, Lady Rowena has stuff to deal with, and Lady Isabella to save, so it looks like it's going to be more than like 5-10 minutes to finish this mission, probably not another full hour, but somewhat substantial. So, hang on, that is the way I want to go. However, uh, no, I don't want to come here. There's nothing here, right? This is just the bottomless pit. It's the other passage I need to explore now. Okay. I do wonder what that's supposed to be. Maybe, maybe that'll become. Relevant? Maybe I can shoot it. Nope. Maybe it'll become relevant later. Alright. Let's just come here and sit in the dark corner. And prepare our next move. Alright, I'm going to end this episode here. So, thanks again for watching. And I will see you here for the next episode.